We're going to learn about how to use a calendar in this lesson, 7.9. A calendar is a chart that shows the days, weeks, and months of a year. A daily calendar is a schedule of what to do for that day. A weekly calendar is a chart of what to do for that week, those seven days. A monthly calendar shows the days of the entire month and might be for one month, or it could be every month of the year stapled together with some pretty pictures. A yearly, yearly calendar shows the entire year as one chart. So this is a calendar for November of 2017. See? November 1st falls on a Wednesday. See that? We can see all the days of the week along the top here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then all the days come down those columns. See? The 1st is on a Wednesday. The 8th is on a Wednesday. The 15th is on a Wednesday. See that? These are all Wednesdays. These are all Thursdays. We can see there's Thanksgiving, November 23rd. All right? So each month's calendar is different because some months have 30 days, like this November, and some have 31, and February has 28 or 29 during leap years. Every four years is a leap year, and February will have 29 days. There's a Mother Goose rhyme, and it says 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. February has 28 alone. All the rest have 31. Except leap year, that's the time when February's days are 29. If I had a British accent, alone in one would have rhymed. But the word half is an old English way of saying has. Okay? So this poem, this rhyme can really help you. And really just memorizing the first part, 30 days, has September, April, June, and November. Because you can remember February has 28. And if these are the ones that have 30, if it's not a February, they all have 31. So just memorizing the first part can help you. Okay, so November 1st, 2017 is a Wednesday. We can see that right here. It's a Wednesday, see? December 1st of 2017 is a Friday, see that? November fell on a Wednesday, December falls on a Friday. Now why is that? Well, if you look at the last day of November, that falls on a Thursday. So the very next day is going to be a Friday, and that would be in December's calendar, December 1st, December 2nd. See? Now, if you look at December's calendar, you'll see the slanted line, and there's a 24 and a 31 here. Well, for all of these monthly calendars to be the same size, they have the same amount of boxes. And because December has 31 days, it ran out of boxes. The first started way over here. So... It needed another box for 31, and sometimes you'll see a calendar will have a slash mark like this, a line, and they'll put the extra days here. If December had start, if December 1st was over here, we wouldn't have run out of days, out of boxes, see? But because it started way back here, it shoved the rest of the numbers down, and the 31st had to share a box with the 24th. There just weren't enough boxes. Now, can you tell what day of the week will be January 1st of the next year, 2018? Now, this is the calendar for 2017. What would be January 1st of 2018? Well, December 31st is New Year's Eve. And the new year would be the very next day. So if this is a Sunday, the next day would be a Monday. So if you said that January 1st would be a Monday, you were right. It would be a Monday. Okay, now we can use this calendar and this calendar to help us answer these questions. How many Sundays are there in November 2017? Well, let's take a look. Now, I know there's five boxes, one, two, three, four, five, but only four of them have numbers. So that means there's four Sundays in November. See that? You don't count the ones that don't have a number in them. So there's four Sundays in November. Let's put that in our answer here on the blank. How many Sundays are there in December 
2017. How many Sundays have a number? One, two, three, four. And because this is sharing a box, that's five. See that? So there's five Sundays in December 2017. What is the date of the third Friday in September? Well, this is the first Friday, so that's the second Friday, so that must be the third Friday. It's the 15th. See that? 15. What day of the week is the 12th of December? Can you find the 12? Here it is. And what day of the week is it? That means it wants to know the, the day's name. We look up and we see it's a Tuesday. The 12th is on a Tuesday. That's the day of the week. What is the date in December of the last Wednesday? Here's the December calendar. What's the date of the last Wednesday? We look for Wednesday and we go all the way down to the last one. We see that that's the 27th. That's the last Wednesday. 27. What day of the week is the 4th of December? We find the four. Here it is. What day of the week is it? That means it wants the day's name. It's a Monday. The fourth falls on a Monday. What day of the week did November end? Let's look at November's calendar. What day of the week did November end? Here's the last day. We look up and we see Thursday. Remember, when it says day of the week, they want the name of the day, okay? So that would be Thursday. Okay, let's see if we can answer these. We've got some critical thinking. Here's a yearly calendar. See how it's different from the monthly one? This is the entire new year of 2018 for, for the year. We've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. All right. So what month is after April? Well, let's find April. Do you see it? Here it is. So what month is after April? Well, the way we read this calendar is we come across this row, then we go to this row, and then we go to the last row. So here's April. The next month would be down here. It would be May. The month after April is May. What is the sixth month? The sixth month is, all we have to do is count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth month is June. The twelfth month is, what's the twelfth month? You might know this right away. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's the last one. The twelfth month is December. Two months after August is two months after August. Do you see August? August is right here. What's two months after August? Well, let's count. August, one, two. It's October. October is two months after August. What's four months before July? Four months before July, where is July? Do you see it? Here it is. Let's count four months before it. One, two, three, four. It would be March. 
March is four months before July. So let's look at this yearly calendar and find out what day of the week will be January 1st of 2019. That's the next year after 2018, isn't it? How would we find out what January 1st of 2019 is? That's the next year. It's the next calendar. So we look at the last day of 2018. That would be December 31st. Well, that says it's a Monday. See that? See how this calendar has the Saturday and the Sunday together? That's different, isn't it? If the Monday is a 31st, then a Tuesday would be January 1st, the next day. So it would be a Tuesday. So not all calendars start with a Sunday. See, this one's different. See the days of the week? It's saying Monday is the first day here. It doesn't matter as long as you're paying attention and you see that that's an S for Saturday and an S for Sunday. See that? So let's try some problem solving here. I've got a list of all the months coming down here to help us, okay? Emma and Tala were born the same year. Emma was born in January and Tala was born in July. So who's older? Well, they were both born the same year. But who's older? Can you figure it out? Where's January? January's here. It's the first month of the year. And July is way down here. So if they were born in the same year and Tala was born in January, and then one, two, three, four, five, six months went by is July. Well, January's first. That's the first month. It comes before July. So Emma is older because January comes before July. So she was born before Tala. How much older is Emma than Tala? We counted the months. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months. She's six months older than Tala. They could be the same age. When it's after July, like in August, they'll both be the same age. But back here, Emma could be nine and Tala could still be eight. Tala won't be nine until July, see? So they could be a different age in the beginning of the year until Tala has her birthday. See? Might be like that with uh, some of your friends. All right? So that's using a calendar. Remember, leap years come every four years. And remember, the days of the week are written all across the top. And that every month is different because the days aren't the same. Some have 30, some have 31. February has 28. So they're not always going to look like this. December 1st is not always going to land on that day. It might be a different day on a different month, okay? All right. We're going to move on, and we're going to continue talking about time and putting time in order. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.